hello friends i am satyendra and welcome back to my channel today i am going to solve a very interesting problem from the classical mechanics which was asked in cs united june 2016 so the question is a ball of mass m a ball of mass m initially at rest is dropped from a height of 5 meters if the coefficient of restitution is 0.9 the speed of ball just before it hits the floor second time is approximately so the question is here okay i have uh, i have tried to explain the question with the help of the diagram here okay so you can look at here so initially the mass was here okay it is um, here this is the earth the surface of the earth and it uh, falls to the ground it started from the rest so the initial velocity is uh, zero okay and it is five meters above the ground and it falls to the ground okay and before hitting the ground it is it comes to the point b okay and <clears throat> on hitting the ground it will touch the ground and uh, there will be an elastic collision in which some of the kinetic energy will be absorbed and it will be converted into the potential energy and the remaining kinetic energy will be used in rebouncing and so this will be the first scene before striking and this is the scene after the strike okay or the scene after collision so the mass will rebounce back with the velocity v2 and it will come to a certain height which will be less than the 5 meters means the initial height because uh, the energy some of the energy is converted into the potential energy okay so it will utilize all that energy and um, it will come to this height which will be less than the 5 meters okay and then it will again fall back due to gravity so this will be the third scene and it will fall back and will come to this point okay and it will have the velocity v3 so finally i am going to tell you that the v2 must be equal to v3 due to the conservation of the energy okay because we have assumed that the resistance due to or the friction due to air is negligible okay so in the question they have actually asked us to find the uh, well velocity v3 okay so when it will the velocity when it will strike to the ground second time so uh, in pre in, in while solving the question we will find out v2 and which will be equals to v3 okay so our main target is to find out v2 okay so let's see how we how we can find out this v2 okay okay so here it is important for you to tell me that uh, for uh, sorry it is important for me to tell you that uh, the coefficient of restitution is less than one and so the collision is in an elastic collision okay now the coefficient of restitution which is given to us here that is 0 .0, 0 0.9 okay that actually equals to recede velocity upon approach velocity so recede velocity means the velocity which which with which they are going away from each other and approach velocity is that relative velocity with which they are coming uh, uh, coming close to each other so here because our second object in collision is the earth so the velocity of approach so the sorry the, so the velocity of receipt should be equals to this much this is the relative velocity of uh, receipt and this is the relative relative velocity of approach okay so this is a formula of um, uh, <coughs> coefficient of restitution so uh, i can uh, tell uh, i can uh, take you back to the concept of collision where the coefficient of restitution is more clear so this is the um, uh, scene before uh, collision so these are the velocities before collision and after collision this is the velocity after collision so uh, if this is the velocity before collision and this is the velocity before after collision then the the formula of uh, the coefficient of restitution is this okay and you can put the values here and you can easily find out the value of um, restitution okay so uh, while we will work with this uh, equation here okay since uh, in our case the second object is the in our case the second object is the earth and its velocity is taken to be zero okay <coughs> 
so uh, on putting the values we arrive that the coefficient of distribution should be equal to v2 over v, uh, u1 okay <coughs> okay so v2 is uh, given uh, by will should be given by this formula and the coefficient of distribution was uh, 0 0.9 so that becomes like this okay okay so so we see that in order to find the v2 we have to calculate the u1 so what is u1 okay let's see so u1 is here the velocity before hitting the ground okay just before hitting the ground so the that can easily be calculated so how to calculate u1 is that we can calculate it from this equation okay so as you can see that calc for calculating u, uh, u1 we can uh, know this from this equation and this is nothing just the first equation of motion so the first equation of motion is v equals to u plus a t okay v is the final velocity u is the initial velocity a is the acceleration t is the time of travel okay so let's put the value so on putting the values so you can see that i can put the values this is the final velocity before the strike this is the initial velocity which is zero this is nothing just the acceleration due to gravity okay so on putting the values you can see that here i have substituted the values and this is equals to uh, 9.8 times the time of travel so we don't know the time of travel we have to find out the time of travel okay so t is the time spent in traveling the mass from a to b okay so this can be found so you can see that what is a and b okay so as you can see that in traveling the particle from a to b it has uh, taken some time okay and uh, getting the velocity uh, u1 so that is the time of travel okay so so this time can be found using second equation of motion okay this is the second equation of motion and uh, this s is the uh, displacement u is the initial velocity t is the time of travel a is the acceleration due to gravity so on substituting the value the displacement is 5 meters initial velocity is 0 and acceleration is 9.8 meter per second square so on putting this value the time of travel has came out to be this much okay so 1.02 is the time of travel and let's put this value back here okay so the in the, the final velocity before the strike is here okay this is the final velocity before the strike so now we will put back this value of u1 from here okay from here in equation number one so equation number one was here okay so this is that equation number one where we were where, where, where we were trying to find out um, v2 let's put the value of u1 which we have now found and on putting the value you can see that i have substituted that value here okay so <clears throat> i have substituted this value of u1 from here to here okay and that can be solved to bring this answer so this is the value of uh, v2 and as i have already told you that v2 should be equal to v3 which is the velocity uh, on striking the ground second time so uh, this is the velocity okay so this is equals to v2 and this is our answer okay so this is how we got our answer okay friends thanks for watching this video if you really like my video please share subscribe okay <laughs> and like my video thank you very much